Mystic Reader's Review History of Blood History of Alfredo Killed when he was 33 years old on the barricades of Paris to defend his country's ideals and oust the Germans. Extracts of an unpublished document of great human value and historical significance, which prompt to several reflections. He had fought and died shortly before the liberation of Paris. He believed in class struggle and in the international communists. We do not know if between the readings of Alfredo Terrani there had been Marxist and Engels the Manifesto. We know, however, that he firmly believed, as many members of his family did, in the communist refoundation of a new world, non-privileged classes, fortune, the attempt by the building which had sacrificed their lives. Thus he writes in a memorial to his brother, John Terrani. I was stopped by Ovra on May 30th, 1936, and have been through the risk of being shot. I clandestinely distributed unit and anti-fascist leaflets. With Cerruti Bollate I organized activities against the regime. Together with other communist comrades, we have become a clandestine campaign to prevent the war that the Duce was preparing against Abyssinia. There were many arrests. My brother is invoked as a machine gunner in Abyssinia, and after his leave he managed to flee into Spain and escape arrest. There he is fighting for that country's democracy. But who was Alfredo Terrani? Working as a plumber, he was born in Milan on December 16, 1911, on the same day of the same month, more than 82 years after Mystic Reader was born. Alfredo Terrani was an active member of the young communist cells of Niguarda in the 30s. In 1937, to escape the prison, he joins the Garibaldi Brigade named Banfi. He is wounded twice in Huesca and in Ferlet. He fights in the regions of Extremadura, Caspe and in the Transfer Front. He takes up arms to defend the retreat in Catalonia, and he is awarded with the degree of Corporal of the 15th Brigade. He is interned in Saint Cyprien and at Gus. He succeeds in escaping. He reaches Paris and takes part in the resistance as commander of the 3rd 2nd Mint FTP. He becomes a member of staff in the Paris region. Here are some newspaper clippings printed in English in France for our fellow countrymen, delivered by Alfredo's mother with his identity card. It reads, he fought with thousands on the barricades in Paris, thousands of Italians, many of them shot or killed, with weapons in hand, shouting, long live France, long live the international communists. They wanted to oust the Germans. Among these gallant patriotic men-at-arms were operating des anges italiens, active in finding and smuggling war material. In August 1944, we began to shoot.